Hey friends, it's Pamela. I wanted to show you how we stay stay stocked up on our little homestead. This is my baking shelf, which you've seen all that stuff before when I reorganized. This is the next shelf down. It's tea, um, pasta sauce, condiments. I really like to have extras of everything. I order a lot of stuff from Walmart and Sam's. They're kind of f far, so it's convenient to just have stuff shipped. At the end, I do have a grocery haul. We went to Sam's and Walmart picked up a bunch of stuff. I just got that maple syrup. I haven't tried it yet. That gravy, I get the poultry and the brown gravy from Sam's. It's really good. Just some random broth for cooking. That's the taco seasoning we use. That's from Sam's. Just part of our water supply. This is all little stuff. I have a lot of tomato paste because I was making spaghetti sauce at one point, but I don't feel like making it right now. We make our own pizzas. They come out pretty good. They're not like when you order a pizza, but they're good. More pickles. I don't know why they're not with the other pickles. The ragu pasta uh, pizza sauce. I can't find traditional anymore. We don't like the home style is good. And those are the tomatoes that we use in American chop suey. Those are some shells. I gotta make stuffed shells. And all the pasta. Those on the left are spare batteries from Amazon. They have pretty good prices, especially if you use the subscribe and save. Some new mason jars for canning from Dad's garden. There's a bunch of oils in the back. Canned vegetables. This is the stuff I keep downstairs near the kitchen. Ooh, that shelf needs some help, huh? Messy. And that's for Steve's lunches. And we need to do some more organizing down there. This is all my dog food making stuff. Big bucket of beans. That's rice and barley. There's all the pasta I keep for the dog food. These shelves are also near my kitchen. They're going downstairs and the shelves are underneath the stairs that go upstairs. My, it was my mother's idea and my husband built them for me. It uses a wasted space and they're quite convenient. They're right next to my kitchen.
Just all the stuff that I can now keep handy and not have to keep going up and down the stairs for all the time. This is my dad's prepper pantry. He's got all this food built up in case the whole family has to come here and we'll have a little commune. If the you-know-what hits the fan. He's got so much stuff. Dried milk. That's a really good idea. There's some canned meat. In dire times, we'll make it stretch. More canned meat. What's this back here? Oh, is that more ham? Yeah. Boy, I stink with the camera, don't I? I have to keep it on a tripod. That's a little radio that doesn't need batteries. You wind it up. <laughs> All kinds of emergency supplies. Duct tape. You can always use duct tape. <laughs> we'll be able to start fires. Evaporated milk. I just saw a lady cooking recipes from the Great Depression with milk. Well, she put it in her coffee. So I think we're headed for another depression. tape is really good stuff. We got some uh, um, hydrogen peroxide, some alcohol back there. And there's the garage door and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have the energy to <laughs> redo this. Lots of canned goods. Okay. Some okay. shelf stable milk. He's pretty good at thinking of all this stuff, all these different things. Uh, blind. Right. And I'm pretty sure that's what I said when <laughs> he opened it. Raincoat, tie downs. Okay. 
Lots of sugar because he has to make food for the bees. This is my um, shopping haul and I had to do this stuff with pictures because I needed to get it all in the the fridge and the freezer as soon as possible. I can't just lay everything out on the counter and let it all thaw. I mean it takes me a while to get it home from the grocery store. That's all meat from Sam's. That's where I've been getting most of our meat. Because meat nowadays is just bleh. And they have the best meat. Those are our special steaks that we have in the summer on the barbecue because we don't go out to eat. And here's the rest of the the shopping haul. I bought those at Sam's because I needed sub rolls and I wasn't going to the other store. I decided to try those. They don't really help. That is for the dog cookies that I've been making. I've been using Spam, but I was going to try some with some chicken. We only use real maple syrup, not the corn syrup stuff. So I haven't tried the Sam's yet. Moth traps for my terrible rice moth. Um, it was just horrible. I'm still finding them. try that pizza sauce, see if it's like the traditional ragu. These quest things we've never had before, um, but my husband needs extra, extra protein and calories. That's for the dog food. Steve's lunches. Oh, and this is all free stuff from Walmart. You don't get it every time, just every once in a while. Just comes in a little bag when you do a Walmart pickup. I don't know why you get them sometimes and not other times. And I think that's it for my video today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it.